Okay, so today we're gonna to be doing Fraxel Restore on our beautiful patient. And the reason why I like Fraxel is because not only in cosmetic dermatology does it make the skin look better and younger, but it makes the skin healthier. And a lot of people don't realize this, but Fraxel Resurfacing is used to treat precancers, to prevent skin cancer, because sun damaged, weathered skin doesn't look good, but healthy, non-cancer skin looks beautiful. So when you're doing these treatments, not only do you look and feel more beautiful with glowing skin, but it helps prevent skin cancer on a cellular level. So what the lasers do is they enhance the skin's natural ability to have these regenerative processes to make collagen, to make elastin, to increase cellular renewal, to get rid of all that dead sun, sun damaged skin, all the skin cancer, precancerous lesions that can happen get erased when doing Fraxel. So I like it from a Mohs skin cancer surgeon perspective because it gives the skin a healthier histologic life. We just finished the laser and the aftercare after fax was pretty easy. If you look online, sometimes more aggressive lasers like fully ablated CO2s and things like that require more vigorous aftercare. But honestly, we just put a little elastin nectar on afterwards and because there's increased drug delivery, all of the serums that we put on are gonna have like 10 to 100 fold more potency because of those little channels that the um, laser makes into the skin. So the aftercare is just very benign treatment. You know, avoid anything harsh or abrasive, no scrubs, no acids, no retin-A or ret retinol. 
um, for about a week and you can have a little bit of swelling and some redness, but some people have no swelling and just redness and some people have just redness and no swelling. Some people have a little bit of both, but everybody's experience is a little bit different. Um, but definitely you wanna just keep it clean and just kind of recover for the week. The downtime's a little bit, you know, you know, a little bit shorter for some people than others, so not to worry about that. And we always say to try to avoid cold compresses. So there's a lot of heat that gets put into the skin, but heat is what stimulates collagen and cellular renewal and almost like an induction of a very controlled wound healing environment. So we don't really want you to use ice and coldness to kind of dampen that response. You want that response because you want that regenerative process to be kicked off. So I usually don't recommend icing. I do recommend just using something to help, you know, recover the, um, or shorten the duration of the recovery, like elastin nectar or something very hydrating like HA5 by Skin Medica um, or something that's more medical grade and just very, very benign to expedite that wound healing. And as I said before, when you look under the microscope and you look at skin, say in a woman who is in her 50s, and you look at someone who's in their 30s, their skin histologically looks the same when the patient who's in her 50s has been doing Fraxel because you're changing the skin on a cellular level with these, with these lasers. And that just makes the cells act and behave younger, more properly functioning, intracellular communications are better. Because if you look at a child's skin under the microscope, those you know, skin cells are renewing themselves. They're pumping out collagen, pumping out elastin, and they're just basically really, really active. And as we get older, the cells become senescent or as zombie cells, as you'll see mm -hmm. online. Sometimes people talk about zombie cells, just like with all of the other cells in our body. Unfortunately, as we get older, just they stop working as well. Neurodegenerative diseases, immune you know, function decline, things like that happen with age. But in the skin, we've learned how to stimulate them to act and behave younger. So they just people just look better because the skin is functioning like a younger person's skin would because it's being stimulated by these lasers to act younger on a histological level, which manifests with beautiful, flawless skin. Hey guys. Okay. I am back from the dermatologist's office and what you just saw was my Fraxel laser resurfacing treatment. You saw it was done and I wanted to come on here and show you now over the next couple days, the process of my skin healing and what it's gonna do. I would say this treatment, when you do a full face Fraxel, it's gonna take about seven to 10 days of healing. But I wanted to show you, so in case you were gonna do something like this, you have an idea of what it looks like to go through the healing process. So let's go ahead and call today day one. And you can see my face looks really red and it actually to the touch is very warm and that's totally normal. You know, I'll get closer so you can see how red it is. Today is day two in the morning and I wanted to come on here and show you what my skin looks like after having the Fraxel done yesterday. So the redness has really gone down a lot. You can see uh, yesterday it was really, really red and it was super warm.
today is day 14 and my skin has all healed. Um, I'm going to show you close up what everything looks like. And then I'm also going to kind of turn it up a notch. I am going to give myself a little bit of a dermaplaning so that I can get the most out of the Fraxel possible. So my skin is healed and it's totally fine for me to dermaplane my face now. And that's going to be just a really good exfoliation because my skin, it exfoliated while I had the Fraxel, but it didn't exfoliate as much as I wanted it to. I did get a lightening of my brown spots and a resurfacing of the texture of my skin. So I'm really happy with that. I just wanted a little bit more shedding of the skin. So now that my Fraxel is done and it's healed, you can see I'm not red anymore. And what it felt like afterwards, for the last two weeks, my skin kind of felt like sandpaper. Felt like sandpaper was on my face. And then as I washed it gently throughout the two weeks, it all kind of smoothed out and came off. And so I'm gonna show you this side. This is not my bad side. This is side is um, less brown spots and pigmentine. I'm gonna close up for you. So it doesn't look too bad on that side. Now, if you look at this side, see right here, I have a lot of my pigmentation. I definitely think it looks lighter. I am really, really happy with how light it looks. And so what I wanna do now is go ahead and dermaplane so that my skin really feels good. I take off the tiniest layer of dead skin all over my face and get rid of all that peach fuzz. So that is what we're gonna do now. You can see now I am totally done. I did a really good dermaplane exfoliation on my face. Now that is what you would consider with something like this, a blade, a physical exfoliation because I am physically taking off the dead skin on my face. done. I just went and put some makeup on and I'm going to give you a little bit of a close up so you can see how my skin looks now after my two weeks of healing from my Fraxel. I just did the physical exfoliation with the Dermaplane blade. But I just wanted to show you because I am really, really happy with the outcome of my Fraxel and the way my skin feels. It feels really resurfaced. I feel like um, a lot of the color, the dark sunspots came out. Now I definitely need a little bit more. Um, my, spun my sunspots are really strong. So I need a little bit more laser treatment on them to get them to really come out and be gone. But I'm very happy so far with the way my skin looks. So let me close up and take you can take a look this is the sun side and I feel like the colors are definitely faded they were a little bit stronger and then this is the other side and the front and again my skin just feels super silky and soft because I did the dermaplaning so if you don't know how to dermaplane I have a video I will link it up here or down below so you can find it and you can start to teach yourself how to dermaplane yourself at home um, and 
yeah, that's it guys. If you have any questions about getting a Fraxel, please reach out. I will leave Dr. Kappel's information down below in the information box. So if you want to reach out to her office and ask some questions, you can go and schedule your Fraxel with her. And I hope you guys come back for another video. Please subscribe and give this video a like and I will see you next time. Okay, bye.